welcome back to my channel electrical concepts my name is Avigan Roy so in this video lecture I'll be talking about why does the voltage vary when the load is changed alright so I already have made one video on the voltage control okay why is it required different methods of voltage control so uh, first you need to know the fact that there is always a change in voltage okay like in our house uh, 230 volt AC supply enters right so it is not always 230 volt and all the time that variation goes on okay and the permissible limit is plus minus six percent that means if the variation takes place inside this range it is okay if it goes beyond this range then we need to perform the voltage control techniques I have already shared I have already discussed those things in my in one of my videos I will share the link in the description box okay so this time let's understand why does the voltage even vary when your load is changed okay so this is the three phase four wire system that uh, passes through our houses or in, in our locality so these are three phases ryb and this is the neutral okay and as you all know out of these three phases one phase enters into our house and one neutral i mean that neutral is also connected with our house and this is how single phase system is made all right so as you can see one phase and one neutral enters into our house and especially it is the energy meter box it enters all right this is 230 volt ac supply and just imagine this is our house okay so as you all know that in our houses loads are connected in parallel that means across every load the voltage is same which is 230 volt ac so as you can see these all are the different types of loads okay suppose here these two are bulb okay that means light type light load and this is fan electric fan and suppose this is ac so different loads are there now before going further you need to understand one thing and that is you always need to know the fact that voltage will always vary here whenever there is a change in load and that load variation may be uh, taken place either in your house itself or in your locality okay sometimes you may find that you know the voltage is uh, very less and that you can easily observe by looking at the loads for example your voltage is very less say it is lesser than 230 volt for example 200 volts or 210 volts and that you can easily observe by looking at the loads for example bulb the brightness of the bulb will be reduced or the electric fan will not rotate um, in a particular speed it will rotate very slow all right so this by looking at these things you can easily say or you can easily get to know the fact that there must be some uh, voltage variation and voltage is now very less okay so that load change may be uh, may, may take place either in your house or in your locality okay in either way you will be affected your house house loads or your equipments will be affected all right so now let's understand how this voltage varies so as you can see the moment you connect suppose these three loads you have connected so automatically this three loads will draw certain amount of current individually all right so now as you can see these two bulbs are taking lesser current compared to fan and this can be easily understood by looking at the current i mean see here i have uh, given the arrow and the thickness is less just to make you understand these two types of loads uh, draw lesser amount of current compared to fan okay normally bulb uh, is having a rate a rating of 40 watt right uh, but fan is having a rating more than that like 100 watt 200 watt fan and that is why current is uh, current drawn by fan is higher and that is why the thickness is higher just to make you understand that which load is drawing more current and which one, uh, load is drawing less current so the moment they start drawing current will get you the current will start entering into your house okay from this uh, single phase system okay and these three phases are coming either from your 
nearby transform that is installed in your locality okay or maybe from in a substation via uh, transformer okay so there will be certain amount of current and these all currents are getting uh, added and that is why in the main line or this is actually called technically the service main okay this line is called service main i mean which enters into your house okay that is called service main so there it will be the summation of all the current that is why it is uh, it, it is shown in, with a dark with, with a thick arrow all right and one more thing to be observed is that the moment current starts flowing through the service main the drop takes place in the line so this is the line voltage drop that takes place and this depends on the magnitude of magnitude of current higher the current higher will be the voltage drop all right so after the voltage drop we normally consider that 230 volt is uh, entering into our house 230 volt ac supply after considering the drop okay so if what if the drop gets increased or what if the drop gets decreased what will happen so that drop actually directly affects the voltage itself the voltage that is entering into your house that voltage will be affected by that drop and that drop is affected by the current drawn by the load all right so now you can easily connect how the voltage varies when the load is changed so now uh, let's understand the next step so up to this is clear now see there is a load ac which is not yet drawing the current because switch is still off so now the moment switch is on suppose you have turned on your ac as we know ac uh, draws a huge amount of current it, it it has the largest power consumption among this four all right so the moment switch is on a huge amount of current will be drawn by the ac itself so automatically the current at the service main will also increase all right let's see so the moment switch is closed see the drop will be much more higher than the previous case why because ac thickness is very high that means it is drawing huge amount of current and accordingly the current in the service main will also increase and as i have already said current is increased means the voltage drop will also increase in the service main and if the voltage drop is increased by a large amount definitely your supply voltage will be reduced all right and as you can see so far it was 230 volt now it is lesser than 230 volt okay so if this change if the voltage is reduced uh, from 230 volt to a value which is uh, inside the range of plus minus six percent then it is fine suppose the voltage is reduced by a certain amount which is not exceeding the limit of plus minus six percent then it is okay but if it in decreases by a large amount it is suppose exceeding that limit then definitely we need to perform with different voltage control techniques which i already discussed in one of my videos okay otherwise otherwise it is okay but one thing to observe is that the voltage variation is always taking place because uh, it completely depends on the customer or the sorry the consumer uh, how they will use their loads sometimes you are uh, using two bulbs one fan sometimes you are using one bulb only sometimes you are using all the loads at a time okay and it is only about your house likewise there are so many houses those are those are connected with uh, this single phase system suppose this blue phase is entering in your house similarly that blue phase is also entering in another four or five houses all right so uh, it completely depends on the consumers that how they will use the load so it is always uh, very fluctuating in nature that means this voltage is always very fluctuating in nature all right uh, so this is just a small demonstration so as you can see the drop is very high and that is why here the voltage is reduced and it is lesser than 230 volt so now you got the idea okay now what if the load consumption or the power consumption is reduced okay now as you can see all the loads are drawing the current now what happens see suppose these two loads are disconnected see the drop is reduced why because now only these two bulbs are drawing current and they are not drawing that much uh, that much high value of current and as a result what will happen the current in service main will also reduce and accordingly the voltage drop will be reduced and if the voltage drop is reduced automatically the voltage at the 
consumer end which is supposed to be to the 30 volt will be higher than this okay and if again i am saying if this voltage change is within the range of plus minus six percent it is okay if it exceeds the value then you need to perform the voltage control all right so this is how actually the voltage variation takes place with the variation in the load i hope you have understood the concept okay so this is the overall view of uh, this thing i hope you have liked this video and also please comment share and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and in next week i will also come up with some more interesting concepts like this till then